Hello, everyone, and welcome to Huawei Datacom MWC Online. A few episodes ago, we learned about Wi-Fi 6, how it is as a new wireless technology, how exactly it helps enterprises to improve office efficiency, how it helps to create a digital production environment for enterprises, and finally, how it helps to build a fully wireless airport travel experience. So today, let's find out about what the technologies are behind Huawei's Air Engine Wi-Fi 6. Hi everyone. Today I'm here with Jason Ding, who is the Senior Product Marketing Manager of Huawei Campus Networks. Hi Jason. Hi Sam. Hello everyone, I'm Lai. So what would you like to share with everyone today in terms of new technologies? So I would like to talk about the Wi-Fi 6 and I'm going to bring the latest Huawei Air Engine Wi-Fi 6 product and that could reach uh, 10 gig performance and I'm going to demonstrate to the audience online. Wow, 10 gig. Because I remember the last generation of Huawei Wi-Fi 6 products were hitting about uh, 3.5 gigs. So that's a huge improvement. Yeah. Exactly. So I'm really excited to find out how. Sure. Let me introduce the demonstration over here today. So we can using the latest Air Engine Wi-Fi 6 products. So that's uh, Air Engine 8760. Those two products I've been connecting to are Ethernet switches. And also our testing equipment being connecting to the Ethernet switch. So we can reading the number over here. That is a number by the 5G band. So um, 6.8, um, uh, 7.9. So you can read the number. It's a floating number. And um, by average, uh, under 5G band, it's about 7.6 uh, gig performance. And that is not overall performance of the AP. We need to also add on the uh, 2.4 gig uh, band uh, on the performance side. So in total, we're about to having um, 8.3 and 8.4 gig performance. Wow. Okay. And also, you could read all those figures over here. So by providing that kind of performance, you need an eight spatial stream working on 160, uh, 160 uh, a bandwidth megahertz bandwidth, right. and also. By having the latest uh, uh, QAM, you are able to reach uh, from 256 to 1024. So um, 1024 QAM. So um, that is a huge improvement. That's amazing. And I mean, we all know that wireless performance can be affected by many complex factors in the environment. Yeah. Um, so what exactly is the relationship between this 10, 10 gig that we've mentioned already and this actual th speed that we're seeing here in the test? So when we talk about 10.86 gig mm. performance, that actually means the physical layer. Um, that means um, a theoretical mm. performance yeah. of the one AP. Yeah. And um, but when when the, in the real world, it's being affecting by the interference, mm. affecting by the channel competition, okay. and also affecting by the cost of the Wi-Fi six standard itself. So when we calculate all those numbers together. And it's about 78% of the uh, theoretical numbers. Okay. So um, uh, that's why we have 8.4 gig performance of the 1AP. Okay, that makes sense, yeah. And so this performance we're seeing here on the screen, is that the highest Wi-Fi 6 performance in the industry? We could probably say that, um, because based on our study on the industry other vendors, uh, they, pub, uh, they put the public data mm. on the internet and also the real performance we're showing here. I, I could say that it's the uh, fastest Wi-Fi 6 performance we have. Okay. And um, by doing that, it's, uh, it's a lot of a challenge we need to cover. Um, one thing is you need to have the eight spatial strains working on 160 mm. uh, bandwidth. Yeah. That is no one vendor could do. And uh, the second thing is how could you put 60 antenna into one boxes? And that causing a lot of a computing power, increase the, increase the complexity mm -hmm. of the algorithm. Yeah. And also uh, that brings the uh, hot, hot issues. Yeah. And um, we put all the technology into one box that makes the performance possible. Okay. And so, I mean, here we're talking about the performance of the entire device. So what about the performance of uh, mobile terminals? Sure. I think a lot of audience online is uh, very interested about that question also. So we're going to show you the second demo. I'm okay. going to demonstrate over here. Okay, great. Okay, so it seems like I need to upgrade my home network. So Wi-Fi 6 now has a very huge impact on the performance of mobile terminals. Mm -hmm. um, so what is it that Huawei does to achieve this? And 
What sets Huawei apart from other Wi-Fi 6 products in the industry? Yeah, that's a really good question. So I'm going to explain that question to bring two new technologies. So one thing we call is that MuMamo. So by having the MuMamo, one box is AP could actually simultaneously talking with the multiple users. So I'll give you an example. It looks like you used to have one line on the road, and today you get a multiple lines on okay, the road. Yeah. Um, the second thing is about uh, RFDMA. Um, so uh, RFDMA actually improves the ultra utilization of the radio resources, and it brings one it break down one channel to multiple channels. And in different channels, you could carry the different users' data. Mm. So give you a more real-world example, it looks like you used to have a car uh, to bring one family at one time, but today you get a trunk, you could bring multiple families at the same time. So by having the multiple lens and also having the trunk on the road, so it increases the capacity of the network performance and also increase the uh, one-time user communication performance. Okay, yeah, that's a really good metaphor. It makes it really easy to understand now. Um, so in terms of Huawei Air Engine Wi-Fi 6, what is it that makes it so great? So let me give you three reasons why we are different. Um, the reason number one, you may know that Huawei is major one contributor in the Wi-Fi 6 standards. Right, right. And um, the two technologies I just mentioned, OFDMA and MuMemo, are being introduced by Huawei. We proposed that technology to the standard group. Okay. And they accepted that as uh, part of a standard. Um, the second reason is we are seeing we are the only vendor in the market they could do FDMA and MMO joint scheduling okay. to bring those technology together. Um, that increased 40% or more performance compared with uh, you working at the same at one technology at one time. Um, but that really causing a lot of uh, performance, calculating powers. Um, it makes the product a lot, a lot of complexity. Right. So um, because leveraging the 5G technology we're having, we have a multiple years of studying on the 5G, so it makes it a lot easier for us to achieve that uh, kind of a performance. And the third thing is about uh, 16 antennas. So we are the only vendor in the market we could put 16 antenna into the single one boxes. And you can read the number over here. Um, by comparing with other vendors in the industry, if you don't have so many antennas, your, your performance is going to drop in very quickly. Right. And, and our performance on the, on the green line over here is showing the performance is very steady. I think my uh, three reasons could uh, answer your questions. Right, answered it very, very clearly, thank you. So, I mean, today I've, ha I've had some really, I've picked up lots of different insights and information, mm. very deep impression it's had on me. I think the three things that I can come to mind, my three takeaways, are yeah. probably um, highest throughput per, per device, yeah. best performance per uh, user, yes. and also technology originating from 5G. So I think, Sam, you remember very correctly on those three messages. And, uh, and also, I would like to bring those three messages to our audience online. So um, we're expecting our new product could bring that performance to all the industry, whatever your education, your healthcare, or government, or even enterprise. So um, we're expecting the new technology could transfer how you work and how you operate in the future. Excellent. Thank you so much for your insights today, Jason. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, everyone. And if you have any further information you'd like to know about, please visit our official website, or you can visit a Huawei sales office.